go to this website, so jetbrains.com, to install PyCharm IDE. So that's jetbrains.com. And you'll see there's quite a few IDEs here, so for all kind of programming languages. So you've got PHP, Java, whatnot, and JavaScript, PHP, and others. So we need the Python IDE, which is this one. So click on this button, you'll see another button saying download. So click on that one. And now you can choose between professional and community. So for this demo, I'm going to go with community. So click on download for the community version. And it will say thank you for the downloads and start to, to download this file to your computer. Now it might take a while to download the whole program. Then open the terminal, go to your downloads directory and you'll see the file is being downloaded. Then we can see the files downloaded using this command. So you'll just see the file. It's a compressed archive. So extract the file. So using this command, we'll just go show you again in a second. So this extracts all of the files. And let me just show you the command again. It's this command. And from here we can we can actually enter the PyCharm directory and start PyCharm. So enter the bin directory. You'll see there is a sh file that we can start. So once you start this, it'll pop up and show you a license agreement. So just press OK with this question. And there you go. Now it will show you a license agreement, which you'll probably not read. So press on the, the accept button. And now we're seeing PyCharm is being started. So this will just start PyCharm uh, as far as the thing is concerned. And you'll get some configuration options, like how do you want the syntax to be? Uh, so these are all default stuff and just press OK. And now you can start a new project. So you'll see your home directory has a new directory has been created, PyCharm projects. Type your project name and then press create. And you want to have Python version 3 because it's like the latest version. So you don't want to be using Python version 2 because it's quite deprecated now or older. So you want to go with version 3. Then press create. And this will create a new project. So you'll see on the bottom right it's still setting up some stuff so it might take a moment. Uh, press close on this thing. And now you'll see it's loading. We can create a new Python file. So right mouse button, new Python file, and name your file, so hello.py or whatever. And then you can type your Python code, but note on the right bottom, we can't start it yet because it's still processing things. But once it's completed, we can press the run button. So that's run and then the run button.